going to do a quick final pitch setup on the T-Rex 550X and we'll complete the micro B setup for the rotor head. I've got my RC logger digital pitch gauge sitting on the motor um, and zeroed out. Now one thing to notice with the tall landing gear on the 550X and the 700X you're going to have to be careful that you're not moving the airframe around with the pitch gauge. So my pitch gauge is exactly set up on 90 degrees off of the tail boom. So I'm going to come back here to the tail, bring one of the rotor blades over, go ahead and take a look. We're at about 0.4 positive right now. Normally one turn of the links is going to equal approximately one full degree. So as long as all of my blades are fairly close within a half a degree. Let that stabilize out. Okay, this blade's actually a little high. I'm showing a full degree, 0.5 high, so I need to shorten this one up. Come up here and pop the pitch link off. Since that was a, a degree high, I'm going to turn this in one full, one full turn. Come back in and reconnect. We're at 0.3 degrees right now, which is very good. One point one on this one. This will have to come down just a little bit. Get this one close. We're at point two. This is very good. That's you will not have any blade tracking problems whatsoever at that level. So I did all of this on swash plate point G. Next thing we're going to do is set the swash plate mixing type correctly. Red is going to give me um, 120 degrees which is correct. Swash plate servo directions by moving the pitch up and down if you can actually move forward here and see the swash plate. I am in the correct mode here. So swash is moving, all three servos are moving in the right direction. Um, swash plate servo throw is next. And we're going to bring the, come back over the boom again. I'm off just a little bit here. And I am going to use the aileron stick camera here to get us to six degrees. I bump the stick a little bit left and right to get okay six degrees. If I come around the front we have a blue swash plate light so we're exactly correct for six. Next is going to give us the ability to set pitch, uh, upper and lower. I do this with my aileron sticks. I'm at full negative right now. And I'm going to set this for about 13 degrees. Just to learn the three blade head a little bit. I'm going to go full positive. Again, get us close to 13 degrees. I'm going to leave well enough alone. My servo limit here. is making sure I can move the swash plate around at full pitch without causing any binding. And I've mentioned before my normal technique for this is the blue light is on right now. I'm going to move the rudder stick right or left until the light turns red. And As soon as it turns red I'm going to bump it back in the opposite direction until it just turns blue. This is um, Good cyclic throw for the Micro Beast Plus, and it just happens to be where I think the helicopter flies very well. Okay, so that was point L, the swashplate servo limit. Now, 
this one you never want to get wrong. This is swash plate um, gyro direction, and I am going to move the airframe around a little bit. I get my, take my blades out of the way. And what we're trying to make sure is the swash plate moves opposite of direction. So now, when I pick the helicopter up, the swash plate is going up, and when I rotate to the right, the swash plate is going right. So we're backwards on both, and I'm going to move the rudder stick around until I get the right response. Now it goes back. One more is about the only combination. Okay, there it went left. It goes back. That is exactly what I'm looking for. The next step is we're going to leave this off for the moment. This is the internal RPM governor. We are going to use the governor on the Micro Beast, but I'm going to set that up in another video. Okay, once that initialized, we essentially have a functional fly barless system. I can get rid of my pitch gauge. And three blade rotor head set up on the T-Rex 550. And we're going to come back and do the internal governor setup here in just a little while.